Hello guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and welcome to the series of API testing using Postman. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a CRUD in Postman. Basically, CRUD means create, update, rename, and delete. And how to use different HTTP methods in Postman with an example, with a practical guide. So let's get started. Hello guys, welcome. So uh, let's first uh, understand what is CRUD. So CRUD basically means to create, create, rename, update and delete of any kind of resource. Right. So what we are going to do is that we are going to leverage this uh, dummy API. What this dummy API will basically uh, gives you is that it's a CRUD of an employee. So what you can do is that you can create an employee. You can update the employee. You can get an employee. You can also get the list of all employees and you can update it you can delete it you can create it so all the uh, operation related to crud you can do it with using this example or you can say this uh, dummy api right so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to switch to my postman and i have like uh, created some dummy one so what i'm going to i'm going to start again with a fresh one and i'm going to do name it crud11 or yeah let's name it as crud demo1 okay the first thing first uh, let me do this like this and this is the crud demo one right let me start it and so that it's coming come will come to a, upwards or as a first result and uh, what i'm going to do is that uh, let's do one thing let's create first of all create so if we want to create let's click the first button plus button and if we want to create something then we need to do a post request right so we they have uh, given us some post request so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to enter this request. So also I'm going to create a new environment. So let's name it EMP and we are going to enter the URL. So we are making this URL as a uh, environment URL, right? And I am going to this till most of the APIs are common. The V till V1 part is everything is common, right? So I'm going to make it like this. Here, here we have and current value also I'm going to delete it okay so now our URL is basically uh, will will be available through using our environment variable right and I'm going to switch to my environment variable now what we can do we can leverage our environment variable here right and we can enter URL right and if we do this then definitely we are getting the results right and if you see using the i uh, basically the when you hover over it right and it will give you the information about what is the value total exact value of it right and we can also click using this i button and that url value is this notice the slash also so right now we are not using slash okay but what should we ideally do is that we need to change it so that slash is not present because it sometimes create a confusion so i don't want to get confused update and uh so that uh, let's do like this okay then it makes sense and we are going to save this request okay i'm going to save this request and i'm going to save this request into crud demo one right and this will be a request of create an employee okay so here we have our first request which is a creation of an employee right but the problem is that uh, whenever we are sending any post request we need to send certain data right we need to send the values so we are going to send in body we are going to click raw and it will be a json request what we are we have to send is that we need to send a name salary and age right if, if i send this I, I will get an error that since the name is unique here the name is a unique so we need to send some random every time we need to send a, a random name or you can say a new employee right so what i have done is that uh, i have created a pre-script it's a very small pre-script that i'm going to copy from this we just go to pre-script and what we are going to do is that we are using a dynamic variable i have explained this concept of dynamic variable in previous videos what we can do is that what it will do is that it will replace with some certain random integer from 0 to 1000 and promote so promote 050 0 
uh, promote 396 so any number will come and what we are doing is that we are setting this value in a environment variable with the ename okay so now our ename will be promote and some random variable between 0 to 1000 so every time we will get a unique name and we will send this unique name here so how we can send we is using a local variables and we can use the ename okay make sure you are put this into double quotes okay and now i'm going to create it i'm going to send this request so here you can see that promote to 216 is created and we are getting an id right so what i want is that i want to use this id into my next request by using a get method right so uh basically we are doing crud right and uh, i'm going to copy this request from another this one so let's Cop make this available here rather than typing basically what this request is that again we have this is the thing is it is already available as a url right so we can replace this and we are going to save the request and till employ employ and we have an id right where this id is coming from this id is coming from because uh here in the test we need to write some logic that because the uh, the response contains an id right so what i will do is that i again copy some request copy this from my another test that i have already done so it's a very simple program basically nothing i have done i have created one test case uh, in postman and what i have done is that whatever response i am getting i just put it into global variable so whatever json.id i was getting i just put it into eid and click on save so every time sorry we need to put this into here in a create request right so after this is a pre-request pre -re pre -re pre right before running the request we have generated a unique name and after the request we have uh, basically have an id and we want to use that id into our next request right so now if i do if i click on this and it will create a new new name and the id is 63697 right and now if you hover over it right then the value is automatically getting set using global variable since this variable is available into global right and we can send the request and here we have the employee details getting it right so this is how you can use the post request and consecutive that post request the variable that you are getting in the response to a next well next request which is a get request getting me all right so now what we are going to do is that we are going further we need to update this also so now we have our employee id created and what i am going to do is that uh, the name of the employee is promote 126 right i'm going to update this resource the update is similar to it's very similar to the uh, i'm going to open my existing one so the update is very similar we need to just use the put method and we are going to give a new name right i'm just going to name uh, give a hard coded name right and we need to pass the id of this right and so what we can do this one we have already know so i'm going to just uh, copy this here now we have and uh, we are going to make sure that our urls are coming from our environment and we'll save and now now uh, basically p uh, this is already exists that's why so we are going to just to promote did okay and here we have the value of this employee with this id is now updated so the first one first uh, we had the name of promote 126 now it's updated to promoted right the id of this 663697 six, now what we are going to do is that we can copy this request we are going, basically going to duplicate it and we are going to make this now again so now we'll get we'll get this the name of that uh, resource is updated so that's how you can do so it's create rename and update so only thing re remains a delete right so again delete it's very similar to any kind of get request here so we are going to duplicate it and here i'm just going to name a delete and instead of ma making a method as a get we need we are going we are just using the delete method we need to pass the id id is already available in the environment right so we need to just delete it and method is not allowed right now because this uh, as they are saying let's see okay this it's not similar actually it is similar to post request update request 
okay so till here till here it's a similar one uh, we are going to replace this and we don't want to use this one and here we are going to delete this request and let me see if I can delete this delete of that URL and delete API 1 and 2 the ID is here and I'm going to delete so right now they are not allowing us to delete but yeah you got the point means how you can delete it right so let me see if I am not doing anything wrong this is uh, probably we are going we need to pass API D1 JSON let's see if this uh, basically delete successfully delete get method okay we need to pass like this we, we need to pass the delete okay so uh, again just you can use the same again or what you can do is that you can uh, as they are saying also that you you can pass delete also to delete this as a get request again we are not we are just getting errors but you got the point right we can delete using this other method so that's how you work with basically crud operation basically creation of an employee uh, renaming an employee updating an employee and deleting it so uh, just make sure that while deleting any kind of resource that you are deleting a proper resource and delete requests are very uh, you can say very vulnerable sometimes and we have seen uh, while doing the lots of api test right test cases i have done like lots of test cases and where we generally don't use uh, delete request because it creates like no more lots of problem right sometimes so again uh, i hope you have get some value information from this one and i have like put my more info my uh, my heart and soul in this small tutorial for you so if you are liking this tutorial series and uh, locking my content please like share and subscribe and uh, see you in the next tutorial bye